Greetings my people and I know I'm here back again and it's vision representing for Blurred. Here on Blurred we give you all the new sports related. So if you are a fan, a fan of sports, if you love sports, well welcome over here. And remember, if you are not yet a part of the Blurred family, please remember you are always welcome. So just do the right thing and just subscribe. It's a blessing and it's a blessing to be here. And my people, I'm happy to report that today I'm not bringing to you a sad news. I'm bringing a happy one. Yes, and we're heading into the new year. A new start, a new beginning. And I know a lot of people might be making their New Year's resolution. But it is very important to know that we can always make a change today. We don't have to wait until tomorrow or the end of the year or the beginning of a new year. We can always make a change today. Yes, let us make that change today because we are in control of our destiny. We are the ones who can elevate us or bring us down. So let us make a change today and do the right thing. And even if you have somebody or someone who you might have a riff with her and not getting along maybe you can make peace with that person show them that life doesn't have to be this way where we have to have grudge or hate against each other even if we disagree we can find a way out to live with each other because remember we're all of a different mind so therefore we can't expect everyone to think the same way so we have to learn about each other and we have to learn to forgive as well because everyone in some point in their life will need forgiveness so let us all have an open mind and let us all think to make a change for better that being said let's get to the topic Fiona Burnett eager to join reggae girl squad 18 year old Fiona Burnett is eagerly anticipating taking the field at the Captain Horace Burrell Center of Excellence UWI Mona from January 3rd to 8th when she displays her skills with the hope they are good enough to make the reggae girls team. Burnett, who was born in the United States to Jamaican parents, Theophilus and Clarissa Burnett, says she is beyond excited to get the opportunity to try for a part of the national team. Of course, that comes with nerves also, but overall, I'm filled with anticipation and I can't wait to get started, she said. As far as Burnett is concerned, she is Jamaican in every way that counts, as she says she feels very connected. Both my parents were born and raised in Jamaica, which forced me to grow up within a Jamaican culture. This includes being comfortable and falling in love with the language, food and music. Having traveled to Jamaica on many occasions has made it feel like a second home to me, she shared. She says making the cut would mean everything to her and would make her the first American in her family to have the privilege of representing the island while enjoying the sport she is so passionate about on a bigger stage. <laughs> Jamaican. I don't know if it is me or what but it's the first time I'm hearing that term. Let me know in the comment section if it's the first time I hear that term being used. Burnett, who is tall and athletic and could have chosen any other sports, admit that her father was the one who introduced her to football and steered her towards the sport. However, once in it, her father's job was done as she says it turned into a huge passion for her to the point where she lost interest in other sports. Not only that, but football has allowed me the ability to play for numerous clubs and travel through many US states she up in. She draws inspiration from her father who played the Costa Cup football for Clarendon College and captained the 1983 to 1984 team when they went to the Ben Francis Cup against Cornwall College. He also played at the semi-pro level in the USA. From a young age, I've looked at my father's football career and I've wanted to become as legendary as he was. His work ethic 
passion and overall want to be the best he can be has always been inspirational to me she gushed about her father when it comes to family support Burnett describes it as amazing beginning from the early days of her venture into the sport my parents always made sure I was at practice and games on time travel with me to far tournaments made sure I knew they believed in me and encouraged me that the work I was putting in would pay off. My five siblings would always cheer me on at games and fill in when my parents couldn't. This support is what has gotten me to the national tryout and what has also gotten me to the commitment at a Division I school here in the US, she informed. Born and raised in Atlanta. Anna, as she is fondly called, joined her first football club at age 8. Since then, she has played for several other clubs, played high school football, even at one point played in the Jamaica Women's Premier League. Looking ahead, she says her ultimate goal is to play professional football either in the US or overseas. Being able to play and represent Jamaica would not only give me pride, but it would also give me the experience to become an even better football, she shared. Yes, my peeps, a young lady with a lot of talent, skills, dedication and aspiration. All she need now is just the chance so that she can reach to the next level that she desire. So I'm hoping that anyone who, who, who is in the right position or the right authority could see this and give her the chance she need because basically it's just a chance she need and Miss Burnett believe your parents because the passion and the drive that you have and the hard work you're putting in believe your parents it will pay off so this too is an example to show that parents believe in your kids dreams support them show them that they care steer them in the right direction Yes, this is very important because the kids need our support and they are the future. So we have to protect them and show them the way and guide them and be there for them. And I would also like to say that big up and respect to the ladies because sometimes I feel like the ladies are underestimated and I know that they are way more capable than some might think. And history has proven that many of the great changes in this world ladies were a part of it so big up and respect to the ladies you know how blur do it and this is vision represented yeah so thanks to everyone for listening and if you're still here that means you are enjoying this video so please give it a like share subscribe so thank you very much for tuning in to blur channel we love and appreciate you. Stay safe and stay blessed.